One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? I want to go through door six. That's a problem. None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital routes don't match up either. We've got similar problems. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six, but our digital route is five. If we're going to open that door, we need a one. Damn, what are we going to do now? <sighs> what are we going to do? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one? With me. <sighs> uh. What about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? You mean I should join Santa's team? Yes. Huh. I understand. I'll go through door six then. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. All right then, we're good to go. See you later. Wait, Clover, don't move on your own. Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah. We should get going as well. This is e -deck. There should be a door at the end of the hall. All right, let's go. There it is. You guys ready? Yeah. Then let's get to it. Hey! I found it! It's right... Uh, <gasps> it stopped. Ooh, I don't. I'm not sure it's something I. We should finish this game. You got that right. <laughs> All right, let's go. This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell is this? This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. Huh. Could be two stories. Maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that huge Kamaboko-looking building in the middle? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs, so we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. This looks to be the steam engine room. The steam engine room? Yes, that thing that looks like a cross-section of a mushroom is the boiler. You see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. All right, let's split up. Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Hey, June. Jumpy. You, oh, you're, you're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes, y yes, it probably, but I'm fine. Please, I just need to rest and I'll be fine. Okay, okay, uh, here, sit down, uh, careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. All right, let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna get you out of here real soon.
I believe the box has reached the floor. Yeah. June's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not going to just get better right away, you know. It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's got to be exhaustion. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know?
Cass, the... All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get June now? Santa and I will keep an eye on the store. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect June then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. So are you only interested in being contrary? Alright, I'll go get June. I'll be right back. Oh, Jumpy! Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. Uh, let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. Are you sure you're alright? Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior! <laughs> <laughs> alright, let's go. Go where? Oh, right, I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great! Let's go! Oh, it's... Santa? What are you looking at? It's a photo. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, sorry. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half inch? Hmm. <laughs> sorry. Why are you looking at it? <sighs> I was her Santa Claus. Wait, what? Have you ever heard the story of the two Santa Clauses? It goes that a long time ago, there were two Santas. One of them wore white, and the other one wore black. The white Santa gave presents to good kids, and the black Santa played tricks on bad kids. They went on like that for a while, but eventually the black Santa's tricks started to get worse and worse. Pretty soon, the white Santa couldn't stand it anymore, and he stabbed the black Santa to death. When he stabbed the other Santa, the white Santa got blood all over his clothes. And that's why, these days, his clothes are red. You could say that red is all that's left of the black Santa. I wonder which Santa I am. The white Santa or the black Santa? Huh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. All right, let's go. Hmm. Huh? Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving, come on! Let's go. Yeah. Oh, you're finally back. Sorry we took so long. Let's go. Huh, is, is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going!
Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box, yeah? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just match our numbers to the numbers. Then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. So for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box one. The card with the picture of Snake on it goes into box two. Oh, uh... Huh? I'll leave the rest. Hey, wait! What's wrong with him? Oh well, whatever. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Ace's card is in box one, Snake's is in... I just need to do the same for the rest. And finally, the ninth man. Yeah! Oh, they opened! What the... Nine... pins? I guess I'll take them with me.